We're hugely appreciative of all the support we've received, um, particularly over the last 12 months. You only have to go online and, and see the outpouring of support whenever we play. And it's always a huge boost to the club to see that, you know, particularly over such an uncertain period. Um, but of course, we're, we're synonymous with with packed houses at Thomond and, and Musgrave Park. And it's, it's undeniable that from a revenue point of view, um, playing behind closed doors has, has represented a, a huge challenge. Um, think back over the last year in particular in some instances of huge support, our, our MRC members renewing in such huge numbers despite the, um, the massive uncertainty at the time. We got similar commitment from our, our 10 year ticket holders and it, it's nice to see some, some familiar faces in the stands with our, um, with our Be There initiative. Um, so these were massive uh, instances of support for us and, and they meant an awful lot to everyone at the club and that support is really the, the bedrock for us as, as we try to navigate the next six months. We've um, we've surveyed a lot of our supporter groups over the last month, and, and again, the the sentiment is is overwhelmingly positive. So we're really focusing on on developing a, a clear and, and coherent plan to try and get as many supporters uh, back into back into Thorn and Musgrave Park as, as safely as possible per government guidelines. And underpinning all that is 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 the is the vision of of those magic days again. At, at Thomond and Musgrave Park that, that means so much to us and, and that are the, the lifeblood of the club. So really appreciative for all the support we've received over the last twelve months and just can't wait to can't wait for the day when we can when we can welcome everybody back again. We offer players the opportunity to progress through our player development program slash pathway. We operate an open door policy where players may be selected or deselected at any stage along the pathway. Uh, we currently have approximately 230 players in the program. They are initially selected into one of our four regional development squads at the age of 15 here to get a weekly session on rugby and strength and conditioning. And they also play regular games against their school counterparts. Um, if they're lucky enough, they can continue along the pathway to, to represent Munster clubs under 18, the Irish under 18 clubs squads. At that stage, the club and school pathways emerge into the Munster in the 19s and all players then have an equal opportunity to select the for Irish under 19s and 20 teams and possibly offer the academy positions. Um, there's also a combined um, clubs team entered into the Munster School Senior Club Cup competition where players get the opportunity to play at the highest possible level and get that experience and also players and coaches in their clubs have access to our coach player development officers and rugby development officers throughout the year where they get uh, coaching courses and club workshops to help with their coaching player development. Essentially uh, the longer time you have before the session the, the more you're able to eat and consume. Um, if you were sort of three or four hours before the session and you're able to have um, a main meal like spaghetti bolognese, it's going to give you a good hit of energy from the past of the carbohydrates. It's going to give you a nice hit of protein as well to keep you full. You might find that you don't always have three or four hours before a session to eat the ideal kind of designer meal. So you might look to have something um, a bit more kind of faster release energy. So you might have um, something that the lads really enjoy is um, sliced banana on toast with a bit of honey. It gives them a real quick kind of top up of energy and, and gets them ready between between training sessions quickly. Um, I think that's that's the general rule. So the longer you have, the more you can consume and digest to be ready for the session. Um, what's always really important to, to remember to do is hit, hit your recovery afterwards. So um, one of the easiest and best recovery options you can go for is milk. It's cheap, it's easy to get hold of, um, and it's gonna give you a whole host of benefits, hit you from a fuel fueling or refueling point of view. It's gonna give you some protein in, to, in there, help with hydration, um, give you a whole load of other essential nutrients as well to help with the recovery process. So it's not just fueling up for sessions, it's refueling after and making sure that your, that your body's ready to go for the next one. Academy intake, um would be affected this year due to player opportunities uh, with, with no games taking place. Players didn't have their normal opportunity to impress during their club and school games 
and when they were playing for uh, the province in interprovincial games or in development games and uh, usually uh, the Irish under age grade would be usually very good confirmation uh, at Easter time with under 18s or 19s or in the under 20s campaign in the Six Nations and the Junior World Cup. So players have been uh, training away remotely and uh, waiting for their opportunity. Um, so some will get an opportunity with the Irish 20s during the summer in the rescheduled Six Nations and others will get an opportunity in um, programs that will hopefully take off again during the summer and at the start of next season. Like every other year, um, there'll be an intake uh, at the start of the uh, year and there'll be some waiting with the door always open to get a, to get a, an opportunity to impress and be included as the season goes on. Like most organisations that run multiple ticketed events every year, we do work with a specialist third party ticketing platform. Um, in our case, our, our partner is Ticketmaster. Um, they look, look, we have a commercial arrangement with them, of course, and that allows us to uh, invest in marketing and promotion around the games and driving sales and getting people into the stadium. Um, it, uh, working with them also allows us access to uh, detailed reporting uh, using their technology base. Um, and look, all in all, if we were to do um, all of that in-house, it would be quite labor intensive. It would also be very, very expensive. So it, it makes sense to partner with an external specialist, which with, when it's their bread and butter. Um, also fans, you know, they, they want to interact with um, recognizable and familiar and safe and trustworthy uh, uh, platforms and brands that they know. Um, and Ticketmaster is one of those. So um, they deliver that kind of reassurance to us and, and to our fans in, in terms of the, their area of specialization. So all in all, you know, having a, having a specialist partner in, in this space uh, works for us and for our fans on, on many, many different levels.